Let's show how to install DB Translation and how to start Mood Language website. We start with install NetTV project via Composer. And next step is installation of DB Translation package via Composer 2. DB Translation is wrapper over Symfony Translation. Now we are done and I prepare project in PHP Storm. I use quick video. And classic Neta project structure is ready. I check the website if it's working. Great. It's working. Now we can start adding new settings to configuration. To config neon, we add extension DB translation. I recommend to read all things in documentation. And to the base presenter, in my case, I don't use base presenter, I just use home page presenter for time saving, but you for your project use base presenter. We add persistent parameter locale and parameter translator. We will fill with dependency injection mechanism with DB translation translator. We update a little bit our router where we define default language and limit for second language. Then we prepare dictionaries. The dictionaries we create in folder app slash lang. You can have even more dictionaries. I suggest use dictionaries for forms, messages, UI in separate files. We prepare dictionary UI dot language dot neon. DB translation by default use neon format where we storage phrases like key, column, value. If I use multi-word strings, I will quote it value. Now we have two dictionaries, one for Czech and one for English. Next step is putting these phrases uh, to template and show it. We remove original content of homepage template and with underscore macro we putting phrase out. First value is name of dictionaries, then dot, and second is name of phrase key. When I change manually URL, I see the phrase is translated. But we don't do this manually. Then we create simple language switcher. It just change persistent parameter locale. Abracadabra, we have simple multi-language website.